Hey besties! Long time no see. I know I went live with Melly the other night to watch the red carpet with you for the Asia Artist Awards. I almost said AA Awards, but that wouldn't be right. Um, but hey guys, I have not made a video in so long. Um, moral of the story is I moved, I've been busy, but I actually genuinely miss making content, so hopefully I can start again. And I thought this was a great, perfect first video to make my little comeback to kind of goes along with my live the other night so yeah it's going to be as you can see x19 performing at the aaa's okay i will say i have seen this once i saw it live however it was like 3 a.m my time and i was like barely awake and i surely missed things i surely missed a few things like honestly so i'm re-watching it for the first time and i'm so excited you guys I need to also explain the Ant team, like when they were announced that Ant team was joining them, I think my body shut down. Like I literally think I w I blacked out. I blacked out when I heard the news because guys, the thing about me and Ant team is we go way back. Same with Jasmine. Um, if you guys don't know anything about Ant team, if you have any questions, let me know because I do stand them. I don't, I'm not into K-pop and J-pop as much these days, but I they are one of the groups that I do try to keep up with because... K is one of my old biases. He, him, and a few others, him and EJ, Nicholas, Taki were on Island, which is the um, reality show that formed in Hypen. And they all made it pretty far. And then, so after that, they were said to be debuting as a Japanese group under Hybe. And then they had another reality show called And Audition, The Howling or something like that. And then they made Ant Team. So I was, I've been there since like the beginning and Kay has been like one of my, I have been waiting for him to debut like under Ant Team for so long. I was scared he wasn't going to. Anyways, I'm talking too much, but I needed to give you guys the backstory of why this is crazy to me. Like if you would have told me in 2020 when I fell in love with Kay and I was already standing as Pantene at that point that they would be sharing a stage, guys, like, this is unreal for me. Like, I still don't think I can grasp what I'm about to watch again for the second time. But yeah, <laughs> god damn. I am so, like, this is crazy. Also, they've been posting TikToks together and Pablo and Kay posted one, which I need to just shut up because I tweeted something and I swear to God it was on Pablo's For You timeline. He's like, bet, I'm gonna do it. I was like, Pablo and Kay, blah, 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 are both the leaders and they're both my old biases. <laughs> I need to stop talking because then they posted a TikTok together and it took me two days to watch it. Two days. And I watched it for like an hour straight. So that's where I'm at, guys. That's where I'm at. Enough of me talking. Um, hopefully you guys aren't already annoyed by my comeback because I talk so damn much. I just realized I forgot how to make a thumbnail. Like, I'm gonna be a mess. But anyways... Guys, I'm nervous. We're gonna just, we're just gonna do the damn thing, you know? I'm like, okay, if I pause a lot too, I'm sorry. It's just like, I definitely know I missed some things when I watched, like, I was like, I was like panicking. Cause I, I genuinely expected them to only sing like Gento and maybe Crimson, like a little mashup. But the amount of songs that we got, like I was saying, me and Melly were talking about it in our live beforehand like guys don't get your hopes up like because like we've i mean like i've been a k-pop fan for several several years and i've seen these award shows so, like i didn't want to get my hopes up and i didn't want people to get their hopes up of how long their performance was going to be but it was so much longer than i thought when mana played i thought it was in an alternate universe i was like mana babe why you're here like girl you're here i was like shocked okay anyways we're gonna watch this now, since I just talked for like five minutes. Okay. Also, scouts. They sleep. Bitch, like, I didn't see, I didn't see the, that blue, you know, where it says what songs they were singing, because I was like too, my heart was beating too fast. I was, I think I blacked out. I did not see that part. Oh my god. The pots and pans, come on. These outfits are slick. Ken? Guys, you don't understand. That's my man. Like, I was gagged. 
But I say we not mediocre. And the mics were on, guys. Like Pablo in the back, I'm sick. Okay, I know that's right. Pablo owns that move for real. The sass. This choreo is engraved in my brain. Okay, so like, let's talk about this. Like, I kept seeing, I keep seeing, um, tweets and even artists like that were there being so amazed like at their live raw vocals and like I keep seeing like people that didn't know who they were before they performed like talking about their live vocals their mics were on and honestly like as a k-pop fan for so many years I understand that not all the time their mics are a hundred percent on like SV19s are and like I get it because like k-pop to me is more about like putting on a performance like if they're not singing live the whole time personally me it doesn't really bother me like if the backing track is a little bit louder it usually doesn't bother me like sometimes it does but like i also stand 17 and sv19 and their mics are always on so like i don't know but i've been seeing a lot of people talk about it because i know like their mics were 100 percent on and i was like when they finished i was like oh so like them and 17 like they're gonna carry with the note with the mics being on like as they as they do um but yeah at this part of the performance like guys first of all the remix of gento like was not expecting it and then miss monist guys you just i wish i filmed my genuine reaction but it was three in the morning i couldn't like ken he's so hot oh my god he's so hot guys They're also, I noticed, like, one of the only groups that, like, changed their outfits for their performance. Y'all, have you seen the compilation of people reacting to Stell's high note here? I have, and I was gagged, and I was like, yeah, I know, I know. Same, guys. Justin. Oh my god. I'm gagged. I'm gagged. <laughs> Justin. Wait. Guys, what does it look like? That? I'm sick. He said, Sorry, Jula. Where is the still high note? It's in when they do Gento at the end, I think. I can't even remember. Guys, I've only. <gasps> Eric Yope. When they started showing, like, the artists in the crowd, I was shitting my pants, y'all. Like, when they showed Stray Kids. When they showed Stray Kids, if you know, if you've been here for a long time, my at used to be Stray Souls on Twitter, okay? Don't fucking get it twisted. Like when they showed, when I saw straight kids going off, I was like, never in my fucking wildest dreams has this been a thing that I even imagined happening. Like obviously I wished for it, prayed for it, but like, I don't know. Anyways, sorry, sorry I'm so annoying. Watch out, I might start barking. Like, you hear the crowd? Come on. I know they, the artists were gagged by his low voice. Oh, Dreamcatcher were also like vibing. I think they showed him again, and I was like, yeah. Good scouts. Oh, it's this high note, I think.
I just got goosebumps. I'm sick. This is when I was shitting my pants. The state, like the the whole like the use of the use of the screens, like that was crazy. The the Pablo Stell back to back was crazy for me. Look at them going off like I'm sick. I feel like Crimson was a favorite. Same same vibes when we were in Boston, like with the casuals at Jake, like Crimson was a fan fave. Ken is so cool! I just love him, I can't. The stableness? I'm sick. This part. This was the high note that I saw a compilation of artists like reacting to. They were gagged. And I'm like, y'all just don't get it. Like, it's just another day. It's just a regular day as a stellinator, you know? Like, this is nothing new. He just is always slaying like this. So, please. Just, just know. I'm gagged. Oh god, here come Ant team. I need to like grip onto something. Guys, you don't understand. You just don't get it. Jasmine, I think, is the only one that gets it. I think Jasmine is the only one that gets it. Like, I have goosebumps right now. They haven't even fucking. I'm literally gonna throw up. Like, Cam? Oh! Nicholas with his hat. Oh my god, Puma. Oh my god. Kay's body proportions are crazy. Oh! This is crazy! Look at Fuma. Oh my god, Fuma and Justin. Like, I, wa I saw this happen the first time. I was like, Jasmine's gonna literally cry because like k is my bias and fuma is her bias we have like other biases of course but like those are our main biases not me telling y'all all about her but anyways like that is so cute look at them vibing together like i'm gonna be sick like fuma was full-on singing the tagalog like i'm sick ah. <laughs> And scouts in the crowd. I'd be shitting if I was in front of shirt kids, personally. Come on, Nicolette! Come on! Pablo and Kay next to each other. Like, Pablo and Kay next to each other for me. You see this? You see this? Okay. And then we ha we scroll over, and it's Fuma and Ken. And, like, people are going to say this wasn't for us. Like, I'm so... I'm, I'm sick. Come on, Mikey! Oh, so good! Like, Free Roger especially, we're vibing. Oh, I'm sick. Oh. I'm about to cry, for real. Like, this is crazy. Is this when Ken says bang, bang, bang? That had no, I'm gonna throw up. Like something about it. Oh Bob. Ah! Justin in the center period. As he should. Oh, the, the way, okay, 
sorry i'm like pausing this a lot and you're probably so annoyed but like i saw justin's tiktok live where he was talking about how like they really just rehearsed virtually and then they only had the night before to like do it all together like in the same room so the fact that they're so in sync at this part is just sickening like and the dance work is so good like oh my god oh and justin in the center he's fucking working it Like, that is crazy. Do you think I ever thought I would see Ant Team and fucking Ant Team, like, on the same stage? Like, it, like, what? I'm sick. The people that were there, I think you don't understand. You just don't understand how lucky you are to have witnessed that. Actually, you probably do, but, like, I'm gonna say you don't because, I don't know, like, me and Ant Team, like, like, what? Like, you're... <sighs> guys this is crazy this is insane and crazy like i have no words like me and melly were like we should have not went through pack to tag tour because it was traumatic for us but that's another story and we should have just fucking went to this like honestly truly like i'm so sad that i was not there because when you think about it there were so many groups there that i love and i would have had a great time like you're telling me <sighs> big regret big regret in my life I am not even gonna lie to you right now. Like, I wish I was there. Oh my god, I would have done anything to be there. Anyways, um, yeah, I have not much left to say. Um, but I guess, hello, I'm back. Um, if you guys want me to react to stuff that I haven't- I've pretty much kept up with everything, I just haven't been reacting to it, but hopefully I- I think I'm gonna start just reacting to things that I want to react to, like groups that I really love. And right now, the only groups that I'm keeping up with in that sense is SB19, Yes My Love, for P-pop, and then um, I also, for K-pop, Seventeen, Unite, La Seraphim, and then J-pop and Team. Like, those are really the only groups that I've been keeping up with, so hopefully I can react to mainly just them and keep my channel more you know my main groups instead of reacting to like all these different random groups that i don't know a lot about you know so yeah um i am still gagged at that performance i'm gonna probably go and watch it like eight more times as i should i'm so proud of them i think i don't know i think as an 18 in general it's so crazy to see them on here but like i was like trying to rack my brain and like think about how I feel about this being an 18 before 18 was even a word like back in 2019 like if you would have told me that they would be here like at the Asia Artist Awards obviously I would have dreamt of it right but like for like to just see them from back then like that is the same people from back then like I can't wrap my head around it like I'm just in shock I think and I don't know I'm so proud of them always they are so ta oh my god like i'm so glad that like other another audience got to witness how amazing they are because of the comments i've been seeing from like k-pop stands that like didn't even know they existed or like had maybe heard of them because of gento but actually haven't like watched them perform this performance literally i feel like changed everything like the amount of people that we're gonna see begin to stand them is going to be so like it's gonna there's gonna be so many new new 18 and i'm so excited i love them always and i'm so proud of them and hello welcome back to my channel i've missed y'all um but yeah i can't wait to react to more stuff i miss you guys so much and also if you have been missing me just know that the lucky girls pod is still a thing and we're on our season two we've released a couple different episodes we've had really really fun amazing guests that we've interviewed so yeah um lucky girls pod on spotify apple podcasts on spotify we upload the video versions so it's like how s19's podcast was or is i don't know if they're still doing it but how the video is like on spotify that's exactly how ours is and melly uploads little um short video edited video versions on her channel i'll put the links in the description because if you guys missed me like i've still been around and if you don't follow me on twitter and instagram then that's on you but um yeah i will see you guys in my next video whatever that may be i don't know but uh yeah bye